10-year-old Isham and her 12-year-old sister Isha play a popular Pakistani board game with their father Ashik. They have all the game pieces, even the often misplaced die. But one important part of their family game night is missing, their mother Asya. Asya Bibi hasn't played with her daughters for nearly two and a half years. She's confined to a small 8 by 10 prison cell near the Pakistan city of Faisalabad, awaiting possible death. Asya was arrested in June 2009 after an argument with her Muslim co-workers. They'd refused to drink from the same water bowl as Asya, saying it was contaminated because she's a Christian. When Asya defended her faith, the farm workers accused her of insulting the Prophet Muhammad, and she was arrested soon after. A local judge found Asya guilty and sentenced her to death by hanging. CBN News recently met with Asya's husband, who told us about ongoing threats against his family and the hardship of raising two daughters alone. How has all this affected your faith? I was strong in my faith before this incident, but after the incident, I am more encouraged. It is written in the Bible, in my name you will face persecution, and people will blame you and curse you. And we are facing that. Asya never left her faith. She is faithful, and she never denied her faith. Asya's case has caused turmoil in Pakistan. Two prominent Pakistanis who came to her defense were assassinated by Islamists. One of those murdered was Salman Tasir, the Muslim governor of Punjab state. He was gunned down by his own bodyguard. The murderer is now hailed a hero by Muslim extremists. But the Pakistani judge who found him guilty and sentenced him to death has had to flee for his life. Asya's other advocate was the Pakistani Minister for Minorities, Shabazz Bhatti. Just days before he was murdered, Bhatti said he'd prefer to die for his principles, including opposing Sharia and Pakistan's blasphemy law, rather than give in to the threats of Islamists. I believe in Jesus Christ, who has given his own life for us. I know what is the meaning of cross, and I'm following of the cross and I'm ready to die for a cause. Asya's children Isha and Isham have rarely seen their mother during the past two and a half years. When they've been allowed to visit her in prison, the bars of the prison cell keep them from hugging or kissing her. Recently, the girls were finally granted a visit with Asya outside her cell. This time we hugged Mama and we kissed Mama. And my sister was very happy to hug and kiss my Mama. Then Mama and Isha were both crying. I was encouraging Mama and saying, Don't cry, Mama, don't cry. God will help us. Help is coming through prayer and advocacy led by Pakistani Christians and other believers around the world. More than 400,000 people from over 100 countries have signed a petition asking the Pakistani government to have mercy on Asya Bibi and release her from prison. The Call for Mercy campaign is sponsored by The Voice of the Martyrs. VOM held a contest asking amateurs to create a video to help raise awareness about Asya and the petitions. Here's a clip from the winning entry. Her life is on the line, but we, as her brothers and sisters in Christ, have a voice, and with God, we can achieve even the impossible. Go to callformercy.com right now and sign the petition for Asya Bibi's immediate release. Ashik says his wife was elated when she learned that Christians around the world are praying and signing a petition urging her release. She was very happy and she said, I pray for them, those people who are signing, and now I have hope that I will be released soon. And what does little Isham think about the petition campaign? I want to say thank you to the people who are signing. I want to say thank you very much that you're doing so much for my mama. How can we pray for you? Pray for us. Pray for our family. Pray for Asya that she may soon come back home and she can say thank you to the entire world when she returns home. We know God is alive. We know He is with us. He will be with us forever. Gary Lane, CBN News, Lahore, Pakistan.